We're gonna see how it is with the handling. We're gonna make a little U around this cul-de-sac. Oh, 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 keeps the groceries in the back. All nice. Now we back on the road. What's going on everybody? Uh, we just out here chilling. I figured let me just do some regular reviews. I don't know, to get myself better with this or something like that. We have the 2015 Jeep Cherokee. I think this is the, uh, I want to say it's like the Latitude package or something like that. It's like the equivalent to the Altitude package on the, um, on the uh, Grand Cherokee. You have gray with black trim all around. All the chrome is replaced with, with black. You have the black wheels on it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's fully loaded. I wanted to take you guys around it and show you guys like this is what I thought was the ugly Jeep But after a while seeing it for a little bit, you know riding it. It's actually not as bad as you think So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead We're gonna take a look in this thing check out some storage space and see why sometimes you might not even need the Grand Cherokee The Cherokee is good enough. Go check it out Now this Cherokee comes with the I want to say a 2.4 uh, four cylinder. I know it comes with a four cylinder. Has a four x four all wheel drive uh, system in it. You can change the modes as sport, mud, and terrain, sand, auto. Uh, most people just keep it on auto. But here's a take a look at the car. You can tell, like I said, this is a side profile. I parked it right here by the uh, train tracks because it just seems to be fitting of this type of car. You know, rocking on the on the road, the mud, the sand. Hopefully no trains come. That would suck. She'd probably hate me. It has a lift. Uh, uh, um, it has a hitch piece for the back so you could tow stuff with it. Um, surprisingly, I'm not sure what you could tow with this car just because of the size of the motor. But it does have... Oh, let me have to move out the way. The all-wheel drive system and towing capability. Like I said, I wouldn't tow a lot with it just because of seeing it. But we're going to get in the car. This is just another shot. This is a shot around the front. This was one of the biggest complaints I would say. This is one of the biggest complaints I would say personally about this car was the front. It looks kind of like a like a little like, I don't know some kind of like men in black little miniature alien birds or something like that weird like galaxy or whatever like weird guardian galactic looking little little roach planet on a little roach truck or something I don't know but I don't know after a while you get used to it. Uh, you just have to. It's just a little weird because. These are where the signal lights are and the daytime running lights. This is the headlights where you think would be with the fogs and even lower are the fogs. So, take some getting used to. Go ahead and hit the unlock button see what lights we got coming on. So hit the unlock button, we got the headlights turned on and we have the uh, daytime running lights, those LEDs right there. Uh, definitely comes with a, comes with a power lift gate. So you press this twice and you know, like a magician, you know, she got some stuff back there. We ain't going to get too much into it. But, uh, you know, press it twice again, close. It also has a button right here on the inside. As you can see, as it's closing. And backup camera. We could have cleaned this thing up a bit. Start off with the back seat. Uh, she does have a baby and another one on the way, so. It ain't, it ain't in the best condition. I mean, it's clean enough, I guess. Like I said, for having a kid. But just say you have a, you have... You know, good storage space in the back, you know, in the trunk. And you have the 40-20, no, wait, is it 40-20? No, it's the 60-40 split. So, you know, this will flip down. Well, she will have another kid in here soon. So, you have, you can have a car seat, car seat, space in the middle, flip down, put a little stuff in. And when she don't have the car seat, so if she want to move or haul some stuff around, she can just drop the 60 or drop the 40. You know, make that cargo room a little bit better. Leg room is good, though. Let's move this out the way right here. Now, the seat, the front seat is where I would sit. I'm about, whoa, I'm about like uh, 6'3". So we're going to go ahead and see how I fit in here. I think I'm pretty good, though. So let me set the camera down and see how good I fit in the, in the Jeep. Uh, yep, see, I'm good. I got leg room, head room. It's not that bad in here. One thing I will note, it's really easy getting in and out, even the back seat, even with my position sitting, how I would sit. Relaxing. I mean, I, I, I like it. Now, close this door. 
Now on the inside, I noticed a couple of things as soon as I get in. Very, very spacious, you know. Uh, like I said, you got your space in the back. You got your little area up here. Just chilling, relaxing. Uh, you got the privacy glass in the back. Obviously, it's like, I think, I want to say it's like more of like a 20% tent or something like that. But that comes from factory. Uh, it's a view of the front. You got your little cockpit area. It definitely has a panoramic sunroof, which brings a lot more light into it. I haven't figured out how to get this to come all the way back. I just got it to come back to the center. I'm not sure if it goes all the way back or just stops in the center. But, I mean, that would kind of make no sense for it to not go all the way back. Seeing that this glass up there, you would want to utilize, you know, as much light input, I guess, as you can. But So we're going to go ahead and go to the front. We're in the back right now. For two two kids or two, you know, two children. And you still got a little space in the middle for a third child. Hi, and I don't know. I know cars are the same way. You can have a five-passenger car. However, the roof line isn't as high in cars. They tend to slope down, especially on, like, the, a lot of the newer cars. They're going for the sporty roof slope design. The trunk space, this is, has, like, this has a higher amount of trunk space than, you know, a sedan would. Now, it might be the same cubics, the, the, you know, cubic size, whatever, but you can fit odd-shaped things in here a lot better than you can fit in a sedan. So, I can see why a mother or a father or somebody would want to go, go towards a truck even though they have enough even though they have enough seats in that car i can see why they want to go with the truck just because of the fact that you have it's higher and it's a lot easier to get in and out you know and your kids have some space to grow and play around you know i grew up me and my two sisters we grew up in the coop so i trust me i can squeeze i know how to squeeze but you know let's get out of here let's go into the front now it does have lock it with right here and to unlock it i want to say you just put your hand in the door i know my car does it yep put your hand in the door it unlocks come in here you're welcomed by this but we, we won't call it leather for jeep's sake but we know it's not leather you know this is hard touch it's a, lot, a lot softer than like the older jeeps and everything but soft touch now this is fabric you have your two front windows of auto Let's get in this thing. All right, nice little packaging, though, I want to say. Nice little leather wrapped steering wheel. We're going to call it leather for Jeep's sake. Uh, you know, you got the dual tones. I like it. I like what Jeep is doing, you know. Even though this is not, like, really the top of the line truck or whatever, they're making all of them look a little good. Uh, push button start, so we're going to get in and just start that thing up. <sighs> a lot of room. A lot of room. Let me put that back a little bit. You got a lot of room in here. We're going to close this door. We're going to get on with this. So, the first thing I notice when I come in here is you're greeted with, it, it feels a little bit more cramped than the back seat, I guess, just because of the sloping design. Like I said, the back has flat down and this has a sloping design. I noticed a whole bunch of cues and things with this car that kind of confused me. If you look up here, this looks really nice. It looks too nice for the rest of the car. I don't know if, if I'm not making... If I'm not making any sense, it looks too nice. Like this is very, very nice, elegant. You kind of think you're like in like some sort of like Mercedes or something. Then you get down here, and then you're like, okay, Jeep. You know, so they they kind of have the chrome trimming around here, and then down here they kind of have the chrome trim around here. But this is all big, brawny Jeep, utilitarian looking, and all. Uh, I think this is the same steering wheel out of the Grand Cherokee, if I'm not mistaken. You got your switches right here. You know, these come from a Maserati, or Maserati comes from these, the Ghibli. <laughs> no, let me stop joking around. You got a little space right here. I think this is jammed up, but it's supposed to come up. Uh, I figured out how to make the window, the panoramic, all the way back. I was messing with these. It's actually over here. I realized that. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Show you all the features a little bit on this. So I'm going to start it up. I bet you that's my sister calling me, telling me to bring her car back. It is. Hello? You ready? All right, that was that was my sister telling her bring her, she need to get some stuff out the trunk, but we going to wrap this up a little bit. Let's turn this AC off. She got this thing running. See? So, gas gauge, uh coolant temp. I like the layout. It's very very It's very uh it's very simple, but it tells you everything you need to know. You have the nice LCD screen in the middle. And if you come over here, now this is the big thing right here. You got your radio. No, best college. Just turn that down. You got your radio, media, controls, apps, climate, navigation, and phone. Now this thing is a lot better. This is a Uconnect system. It's a lot better 
than most cars that cost almost double. This Uconnect system that comes in a lot of the Chrysler Jeep products, Chrysler Dodge Jeep products, are insane. It just, like, ah, I, I can't explain it to you. It's amazing, actually. Let me, uh, let me go over here. One thing that I did notice that this car has the option with, you got, obviously, a mirror dimmer, but you got the heated seats. Let me zoom in right here. You got the heated seats, the heated wheel. The heated steering wheel is a big plus. You got two settings, high and low, for the heated seats, passenger driving passenger. Heated wheel, uh, obviously the driver, the passenger don't have no steering wheel. If they did, this car would be awesome, dope. But uh, we got the Navi, you know, where to, let's look at the map, let's look at the quality of it. I like it. Uh, let me see. It's a little laggy. I mean, it is a touch screen. My car has the iDrive, so it's it's not laggy at all. But uh, climate. Now, this is like redundant because the climate's off, obviously. But you see you got the climate buttons down here. So you don't need to dibble-dabble with just this for the climate. Like, if you're in the radio or you GPS or whatever, you can still utilize these buttons down here for temperature. One thing I noticed I really liked about the Jeeps, though, they come with a lot of them. come with the SD card slot, USB, and the auxiliary. Obviously, we have the... Uh, what are you gonna say? That's the power outlet. It's no longer the cigarette. But uh, yeah, got some. This is not leather. We're just gonna admit that. But it's a little. It's softer than most right here. This is a big spot that I think a lot of people miss in car reviews. I'm a big. I'm a big dude. So a lot of the times I like to rest my knee on here. And this. This is not soft. This is like straight plastic. Now that's big for me. Now a lot of people they probably wouldn't put their knees there, rest their knees there. But it's big for me. And another area right here is big that I like to rest my leg on. You know, we got some good, we, we, we got some good looking, uh, what was this, uh, I want to say plastics, but it looks like wood. Now, it's nice, it's smooth, it doesn't bug me too much, but if the leather was right there or something soft touch, I would have been happy with that. Uh, rest of the foot, kinda, I'm at the dead pedal, it's kind of good, I got a lot of space, got a lot of room. Uh, yeah, so let me open the sunroof to show you what I'm talking about. The sun shade, uh, the sun, whatever, the shade. And this opens the roof. See? This is how far back it goes. Oh, go back a little bit more. Oh, that's pretty, that's good. It's bigger than, it's like the same sun, size as my sunroof, but instead this has the panoramic part of it, which is way cooler. Obviously you have your garage buttons, which I'm not even sure people use these three buttons right here. There's no point in seeing the engine and stuff like that. Like I said, it's a four-cylinder. There ain't nothing special going on under there. One thing I will like to note is this. You got the all-wheel drive system right here. This is the sport snow, mud, sand. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it works. My guess is, well, I'm, I know how the system works. I'm not sure how Dodge sets, setup works, how, how they figure out which uh, mode you in auto. But snow, obviously, it locks all in, in permanent four-wheel drive. It spins all the wheels uh, equally in a way. Sport mode, I would assume it would send more power. Well, sport mode, in my opinion, would send more power to the rear. But come on now, who we got the all-wheel drive system the best way I can. Try to jump these tracks. Now I'm pretty. It doesn't test out the old drive system. I just, I just want to jump some damn tracks. I want to see how good the Cherokee could jump some tracks. Now, mind you, like I said, this is my sister's car. I'm not going to violate it, so I'm just bump over and buy a little bit. Just how to have a little bit exciting in this video, because it is a Jeep Cherokee for Christ's sake. So here we go. Seatbelt. Are for pussies. Alright, so we're gonna drop this in sport or sand and mud. We're gonna put it in we gonna put it in snow. No, snow doesn't have what turns trash control off? Sport turns trash control off, so that's what we're gonna do. Sport, first gear, we'll take it.
does a little bit of off-roading. In my opinion, I think it could handle it. Um, however, I just didn't want to give it as much gas to, um, I didn't want to give it that much gas to go ahead and destroy my sister's car. But I just popped up a little bit of rails and everything like that. It felt super good. It depends on what angle you hit it from. I'm going to try to hit it from the front and see if I can jump it from the front. I'm going to try to do that. Head on. the speed limit sign we ain't going that much faster let's do this see it's pretty good I like it a lot of people should look into this before they go full Grand Cherokee because it could save you some money you're gonna go ahead and pull up right here and we're gonna test out this backup camera now when you put it in reverse Backup camera comes on. This backup camera is huge. The mirror doesn't fold down like I would hope. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't fold down. Got the lines that turn with your steering wheel. This thing is pretty easy to park. And plus, the, the wheels are really big. That It has a lot of tires. So, um, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, curving a wheel. Which, to my surprise, I, I take that back because she's already curved one of the wheels. <laughs> Alright, but we out of here, so... I'm gonna give you one more outside shot of the car. Show us, show off some of the things. Like that's pretty cool right here. Nice little, nice little walk around of the car. This is the wheel I was talking about. She did a nice little number on that, but that's it. So let me get our stuff out the back, and that's it. This is the end of this video. We gonna we gonna close it out like we, we like the, the new style we doing. We gonna close it out straight up like this. We gonna fade out like that. Bam.